doggies, it's your misfortune and none of my own. Yippee-ki-yi-o, get along, you little doggies. You know that the ferry will be your new home. And now for the thrilling adventures of Lightning Jim. All right, come. Hey, get me some. Get me some. Get me some. Some fight, eh, Red? Yeah, some fight. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't troopers. The kids playing cowboy and Indian. Yeah? I don't get you. Listen, they chase us all over the country to fight some redskins. They got more rights to this land than we have. Now, what do we get for it? Rotten food and a hard living. Yeah. Who cares if we get killed? We're troopers. It's our duty to be killed. Well, I'm sick of the whole blame business. Yeah, we sure was crazy to enlist. Do you mean that, boys? What? what? Colonel Barker. So you boys don't think much of the army life, do you? Ah, uh, we... I, I was just making a little fun, Colonel. A little fun, huh? I don't think either of you realize what it really means to be a United States soldier. I'm giving both of you ten days in the guardhouse to think it over. In the early days of the American frontier... The government established forts and army outposts to help bring law and order to the wild and sparsely settled region known as the Great American Plains. The brave troopers encountered the blizzards of snow that swept down from the north and the scorching winds of the desert. They were attacked by the hostile tribes of Indians who bitterly opposed the white man's advance into the red man's hunting grounds. Life at the forts and outposts was hard and many were killed, a life that weakened the courage of strong men. Assisting the troopers and local peace officers were the fearless United States Marshals the G-men of the Old West. The thrills of those history-making times come back to us in the adventures of United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy, Whitey Larson. We join them now on the road leading to a busy frontier town called Indian Lodge. By God, it's Lightning, I'm so doggone hungry I could take a bite out of my saddle and think there was a piece of beef steak. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, Whitey, but that saddle belongs to the government. I won't have you chewing on government property. Well, then the government better fix it so I can chew on some food. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's just your imagination, Whitey. It's all in your head. Oh, yes, my imagination. Sure, and the more you think about it, the hungrier you get. Now, think about something else, you won't be hungry. Yo, yeah, that sounds good, but it don't work. My stomach is so empty, my backbone is where my stomach ought to be. <laughs> Whitey, listen. How'd you like to have a nice, big, juicy steak? A baked potato with a lot of butter on it. Hot biscuits and coffee. Oh, say, Lightning, just thinking about that makes me weak in the knees. What? Weak in the knees, eh? That explains everything. Eh, hey, what do you mean? No wonder you're always hungry. You've got hollow legs. Oh, it's that sort. Say, you think I'm funny, but I don't. <laughs> well, don't get excited, Whitey. We're coming into Indian Lodge. Does that mean anything to you? Indian Lodge? Yeah. Uh, well, well, you been in and ain't ever Kate East in horses. Sure, Kansas Kate, the finest cook on the place. Well, why didn't you say so? We, we, what are we waiting for? See, I can taste that steak already, by golly. <laughs> Get me up there. Come on, come there. <laughs> Another piece of pie, Kate. How about some coffee? Sure, and you can have all the pie and coffee you want. Anything more for you, mister? I reckon not. You must do a pretty good business here, man. Oh, oh sure, and I can't be complaining. What with the new silver mine starting up, I've all I can handle. Yeah, where there's miners, there's always plenty of cash. Well, yeah, let the wind go in. Howdy, Lightning. Uh, well, wait, mister, you got change coming. 
Well, of all things. Well, what trouble, Kate? Well, Jasper went off without waiting for his change. Well, the one who just went out the door? The same. Who is he, Kate? Well, I don't know his name. Only been in here a few times. Why? Have you seen him before, Lightning? Yeah. Yes, say, Lightning, can't you forget business for just one minute? I come in here to eat, and I want the steak dinner. <laughs> Good for you, Whitey. It's no time to talk business when a man's got an empty stomach. Oh, right <laughs> no, that's right. That goes double for me, <laughs> my guy. All right, Kate. Two steaks. You are saying all the trimming, two steaks. <laughs> about another piece of pie, Whitey? Uh, no, thank you, ma'am. I'm full. I thought you were hungry, Whitey. Yeah, well, I was. When I come in here, I was so weak, I could hardly stand up. Now I'm so full, I can't get up off the chair. <laughs> <laughs> I give up, Kate. You can't uh, please Well, it, can never you? you mind, Whitey. Whenever you're hungry, just come to Kate. Yeah, sure. Oh, by the way, Lightning, hmm? I was meaning to ask you. Have you seen me boy Jack at Fort Anderson? Not since he enlisted. That's six months ago, isn't it, Kate? Oh. Me and Whitey have been traveling around the country after bandits and outlaws. We ain't been back at the fort for quite a spell. Well, uh, you see, he told me Colonel Barker was going to let him off for a few days so he could come out here to see me. Mm -hmm. And he was coming a week ago. Every day I've been waiting. And every day it's the same. No, Jack. Well, I wouldn't worry none, Kate. You know a trooper's life ain't exactly regular. Uh, sure, and I know that. Maybe you'll be saying I'm a foolish old woman, but somehow I've got a feeling that he's in trouble of some oh, kind. <laughs> no, Jack's all right. I'm sure he is, oh, Kate. It's good to hear you say that, Lightning. You know, his father was in the service. Oh, yeah, I knew Sergeant Dolan. He was a fine soldier, too, Kate. Sure, and he was that. Ah, till the Redskins got him. Bad sisters and the Red Devils. I'm praying the same thing won't come to Jack. Oh, don't think about the worst side, Kate. Just remember, he's doing his duty serving his country, and you can be proud of him for that. I am, Lightning. I'm mighty proud of that. You know, me father always said it, your liver makes you think bad things. So I guess it's me liver that's putting the devil in me thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, same old kid. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, will you look at Whitey, will you? Fast asleep? Yeah, look at that now. I got a good Oh, oh no, of... <laughs> now, go easy on the lad. He's tired out, that's what he is. <laughs> Ah, sure, and he sounds like one of them locomotives. <laughs> <laughs> so. Hey, Whitey. Whitey. <coughs> you Wake up, Whitey. How about uh, another steak? Uh, what steak? I say, how about another steak? Uh, steak? You uh, said the way I feel. No, I, I think there would be a mistake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Jack, we've been in the guardhouse ten days today. Yeah, I know. Ten days in this stinking jail, and for what? Just because we don't fancy the idea of being shut down by them redskins. Well, I can't talk out loud no more. No. Nah. <laughs> this is supposed to be a free country. Well, I know what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? Can't you guess? You mean you're aiming to clear out? Sure, and so will you if you're smart. Yeah, but now that's deserting, Red. You know what it means if you're caught. Don't worry. They won't catch me where I'm going. Yeah? Where's that? Come along and I'll show you. No. no that's too risky. Listen, it won't take us five minutes to clear town, and when we cross the river and make the hills in Smoky Valley, we're safe. What about them redskins? If we stay here, we gotta fight redskins, don't we? Yeah. And you might be the next one to get an arrow or a bullet in the head. Now, we know where the redskins are, and we'll head out of Indian country fast. What do you say? Yeah, well, Red, if I was only sure we could get away safe... You leave that to me. Remember Al Slack? You mean the chap that deserted last month? Yeah, that's him. He got away safe, didn't he? Yeah. Sure. The colonel sent out a troop. They didn't find Al. He was smart. I could have gone when he did. But I got sick and he went by himself. But he's got a hideout and I know where it is. You do? Sure. Ah, we can sleep as long as we want and eat some real food again. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, but I ain't got no money, Red. Oh, don't worry about that, Jack. I got some cash, and Al has plenty. Now, listen. They'll be letting us out of here tonight. But instead of going back to the barracks, I'll meet you back at the tool shed behind the stable. Well, what about horses? Don't worry. I'll get the horses. Yeah. Shh. Here comes the guard. Yeah. Remember, tonight. <laughs> Oh, 
Over here. I got the horses. Yeah. Hey, listen, Red. I've been thinking this over. I can't do it. Oh. I can out, huh? Yeah. Oh, I don't blame you for feeling like you do, but I, I feel the same way, but I just can't go with you. Don't be a fool. This is your chance to get away. Oh! Who goes there? The sentry. We're caught. Oh, no, we ain't. Who goes there? Come on. You can't back out now. Get on that horse. Stop or I'll shoot you. Then you killed him. Well, it was him or us. Now, come on. Yeah, they'll have to hold barracks after us. Shut up. Come on. Get moving. Come on. Get up there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, boy. Wow. What happened? Wow. Well, we sure had a run for it. Yeah, but... Where, where do we go from here? Up this canyon, North Indian Lodge. Indian Lodge? Yeah. Al's hideout is five miles from the town. Hey, look. Where? Down there by the river. Yeah. It's the troopers. They found our trail again. Yeah, but from here on, we're taking the rocks in the creek bed. Get up. Come on, get up. Get up. Hey, Whitey, hey. Hey, can't you hear me? Eh, eh, what you say, Lightning? Wake up. First thing you know, you'll be falling off that horse. Eh, what horse? Your horse. What's the matter with my horse? He's all right. Well, that's more than I can say for you. What you need is a little excitement. Oh, no, Lightning. I just want to see Fort Anderson where it's nice and try it, Lightning. <laughs> whoa, Thunder, whoa, boy. Hold on, Whitey. Whoa, there. Whoa, boy. What's the matter? Who's coming? Look up ahead. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh. My God, the troopers. Right, and... Here comes Colonel Barker, too. Oh, there must be plenty of trouble up like Yeah. Oh, howdy, Colonel. Well, Lightning Jim and Whitey. Hello, Colonel. We saw you two chaps coming down the trail, and for a while we thought you might be the two deserters we're looking for. Yes, that is. That's right. Two young chaps. Maybe you know them. Red Ross is one. Oh, but see, I know him by Gally. He's got red hair, and he thinks he's a tough guy. Yeah, that's a good description, Whitey. Uh, who's the other one, Colonel? Young Jack Dolan. What? Yes, I know what you're thinking, Lightning. We all knew Jack's father before he was killed by the Redskins. Yeah. Well, I'm sure sorry to hear that, Colonel. And so am I. Do you know his mother, Kansas Kate, runs an eating house over at Indian Lodge? Yeah. Me and Whitey just come from there. Well, I'm afraid you haven't heard the worst. What do you mean, Colonel? Red and Jack stole a cash box, shot down a sentry, and deserted the fort. You've been in many... Well, that's plenty bad. Any idea where they went? Yes, we followed the trail along the river. They crossed over and doubled back. We figured to go up Willow Canyon and come back to Indian Lodge. Jack might try to get in touch with his mother. Yeah. Colonel, maybe Whitey and me can help you on this. Fine. You want to come with us? No, I got another idea. You go on up the canyon and me and Whitey will head back to Indian Lodge and uh, keep an eye on Kate's house. All right, Lightning. And if you don't mind, Colonel, I, I'd like to be first to talk to Kate about it. I know her pretty well and maybe I can break the bad news kind of gentle-like. Sure, Lightning. And I don't envy you that job. No, me neither. I tell you, she thinks a lot to that boy. Yes, Whitey. It's enough to break any mother's heart. Will the two boys be caught? Well, what happened to Jack and Red and Kansas Kate will be shown in part two, which will follow immediately. <laughs> Now for part two of the thrilling story, Lightning Jim Helps Kansas Kate. Kate's son, Jack, and another trooper, Red Rothy, deserted from Fort Anderson and were heading for the hills pursued by the troopers from the fort. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, here we are, Jack. This is the cabin, all right. Yeah. Doesn't look like nobody's here. Well, if I ain't around, we wait till he comes back. 
Put up your hands and don't move. Hey, don't shoot, Al. That's me. Red. Well, I'll be so gone. Who's this with you? It's Jack from the fort. You remember him. Oh, yeah. Howdy, kid. Howdy. You two were sure taking chances coming this close to the cabin in the dark. I might have drilled both of you. Yeah, well, we was in such a hurry to get away from the troopers. We didn't think of that. Are the troopers trailing you up here? No, we left them at the river. We double back up the creek and over Rocky Ridge. No oh. tracks to follow there. Good. <laughs> so you finally got smart, eh, Red? <laughs> yeah. The colonel heard me and Jack talking about what we thought of the army, and he gave us ten days in the guardhouse. <laughs> so you decided to pull out? Yeah. Had to drill the sentry to get away. Yeah, I sure hope it was musty. Never liked that guy, no how. How will the horses over there in the trees and come on inside? Sure. You go ahead with Al, Red. I'll take care of the horses. Oh, thanks, kid. I'll rustle up some grub. Al sure is good to see you. Yeah. What have you been doing? Waiting for a chance to get the payroll cash at the new silver mine near Indian Lodge. Silver mine, huh? Yeah. Hey, uh, listen, Red. Mm Mm-hmm. You know this kid Jack well enough to trust him? Oh, sure, he's all right. Wouldn't have brought him along if I didn't think so. He's fed up with the Army just like we are. Yeah, but we've got to be sure he don't weaken. Well, what makes you think he will? Well, he's young, and kids sometimes get scared and start squealing. <laughs> don't worry none about that. Jack's on the level, and mighty handy with his gun. Yeah? One of the best shots at the fort. We'll see. Say, uh, did he drill the sentry? No, I did Hey, how about some grub? We're starved. Sure, sure. I was just aiming to pull out of here. Oh, where was you going? Down to Indian Lodge. Hey, maybe we'll go after the silver mine cash tonight. Sure. Now, where's the grub? You poke up the fire. I've got it. Now, we need more wood. I'll tell Jack to pick up some outside. Hey, Jack. Jack. Hey, where are you? Holy smoke. What's the matter, Ed? He's gone. What? Are you sure? Yeah, look, his horse is gone. There's mine and yours. Yeah. I told you he was weak. Got scared and run. I'd like to get my hands on him. Come on, let's follow him. No, yeah, no, let him go. No use chasing him all over the country in the dark. He can hide out too easy and he ain't worth the trouble. Yeah, I guess that's right. Yeah. Come on, we get your grub and start for Indian Lodge. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you, son. Hello, Ma. Oh, I thought you wasn't coming at all. Where's your hat, lad? Uh, my hat? Oh, it blew off in the river when I was crossing the bridge. Oh, that's too bad. But sit down, son, and I'll be getting you something to eat. No. No, don't bother, Ma. I ain't hungry. Well, what's the matter with you, boy? Ain't you feeling good? Yeah, I'll be all right. I'm just tired, that's all. Yeah. What's that? What? Somebody's coming. Oh, sure somebody driving a wagon by outside, if that's what you mean. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a wagon. Jack, yeah. what in the world ails you? Huh? Why, you're as white as a sheet, and you're sweating like a take yeah, I'll tell you, I'm just tired, Ma. Now, leave me alone, please. Jack, you wouldn't be keeping anything away from your own mother, would you? No, Ma, no. Well, what is it, boy? What's happened? Are you in trouble? No, um, boy. It's them. They've come for me. Oh, i got to hide. Quick. Oh, no, Jack. Please, Ma, please don't let them get me. I can explain everything. I didn't mean to do it. Don't, 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 don't do that. Closet. Now, tell them I'm not here. Mother in heaven, what's it done? Who's there? It's me, Kate. Black and Jim. Howdy, Kate. Can we come in? I, uh, I'm sure you can. I uh, know you're always welcome in my house. Come on, buddy. Well, I, uh, I didn't expect you back here so soon. Well, we didn't exactly expect to come back so soon, either. Well, uh, won't you sit down for a minute? Sure. Kate, you told us you were expecting your son, Jack. Oh, sure, and that's the truth. Kate... You know that Whitey and me are your friends. I... I hope you are. We want to help all we can, but we need your help, too. What do you mean, Lightning? We just saw a man ride up here and come in. His horse is still out in back of the house. Where is he, Kate? For heaven's sake, Lightning, tell me. What's happened? What's he gone and done? Kate, if Jack's half the man I think he is, he'll come out here now and tell you. Straight and honest. Jack, what have you done, boy? What have you done? Don't, don't worry, Ma. I'll take my medicine and I got it coming plenty. I'm a rotten, low-down guy. Oh, no, Jack, don't be saying that. Well, it's true, Ma. I'm... 
I'm a deserter. A deserter? You? The son of a soldier? I can't believe it. My own son, a deserter. I don't know what come over me. I, I went kind of crazy, I guess. It was Red talked me into thinking that way. It was him planned the whole thing. Go on, Jack. What happened? Well, he was going to get the horses, and we were going to meet back at the stables. And when I got there, something come over me all of a sudden, and I, I told Red I wasn't going with him. Yeah, well? Well, he said I was crazy, and then it happened. One of the sentries come up, and Red shot him down. Oh. And it was Red done the shooting. Yeah, sure. And then I got scared, and before I knew what I was doing, I, I jumped on my horse and went with him. Where'd you go? Well, the troopers chased us along the river, but we went up over Rocky Ridge to a cabin belonging to a fellow named Al Slack. Al Slack? Yeah. Say, that's the Jaeger that deserted from Fort Anderson about a month ago. Yeah, that's him. He's a friend of Red's. Well, they went in the cabin, and I stayed outside to look after the horses. But I could hear him talking. Yeah, what'd they say? Well, Al's been laying low, waiting for a chance to rob the silver mine payroll. Oh, I don't know what come over me, but I got on my horse and come down here as fast as I could. Oh, oh my poor boy. Oh, please, Mon. I'll, I'll face it out like a man should. Good boy, Jack. I had an idea you talked that way. Just one more thing, though, Jack. Yeah? What about the cash from the fort? Cash? Yeah. What cash? I don't know what you're talking about. Colonel Barker says one of you took a cash box before you left the fort. Well, it wasn't me. No? Red didn't say nothing about getting no cash. Uh, probably figured to keep it for himself. Yeah. Well, Lightning, I'm ready to go back to the fort. Please, Lightning, please. Can't you do something for him? Yes, Kate, I think we can. If Jack is willing. I'll do anything you say, Lightning. All right. Now, here's what I got in mind. You take your horse. Over mine payroll was a cinch. Yeah. Over. Now, well, what's the matter? Hey, I just happened to think of something, Red. You take the payroll cash back to the cabin and wait for me. Ah, oh, where are you going? Down to Indian Lodge. Ever hear of Kansas Kate? Kansas Kate? Yeah. She runs an eating place in Indian Lodge. She takes in plenty of cash. Ah, uh, we got enough with the payroll money. Well, listen, Red, no use passing up a good bet. We got to clear out of here anyways. Might as well get all we can. I'll meet you at the cabin. I can handle this all along. Oh. Oh. Howdy, Red. Who's that? It's me, Red. Remember me? Jack! Yeah. Put up your hands, Red, and keep them up high. Oh, no, wait a minute. Listen, you have to poke a gun in my ribs. Turn around and hurry up, because I ain't fooling. I'll take that cash box first. Now I just want your gun, Red. Yeah, it's better. Now you can turn around, but don't try no funny business. I'm keeping you covered. Hey, what's the big idea, Jack? Never mind that. Where's the cash you took from the fort? How did you know? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, I do. Hand it over, Red, or I'll let you have it. Ah, uh, it's in my pocket. Here, it's in this bag. Yeah. Wasn't going to split that up, was you, Red? So you robbed the mine tonight, huh? Listen, Jack, let you and me split up this cash and clear out. Oh, huh? now you want to double-cross Al. Why not? He just went back to town to pull another job. What kind of a job? Says he's going to hold up an eating place run by Kansas Kate. But Kansas Kate? Yeah. Why, that dirty, low-down vomit. What's the matter? Do you know her? You bet I do. And I'm going to fix you right now. Now, wait a minute. Now, don't shoot me, Jack. No, I'm not that yellow. Red, you shot down the sentry at the fort, didn't you? Oh, sure, but what's that got to do? Never door? mind. That's all I wanted to hear you say. Ow! Good work, Jack. Lightning, Jim! Get up, Red. You're under arrest. And the charges? Robbery, desertion, and murder. <laughs> Don't be frightened, ma'am. Just don't make no noise. What do you want? Cash, ma'am. Cold, hard cash. I haven't got any cash here. That's a safe over there in the corner, ain't it? Yes, but there ain't any cash in it. Just keep me bills and, and papers in there. <laughs> Is that so? Open it up and be quick about it. Oh, but I tell don't you... Don't argue. 
Open that safe. Hmm? Sure, if you say so. That's better, ma'am. Now, maybe you got cash in there after all. Well, there. Look for yourself. There ain't no cash. What's this box? I'll show you. Give me that gun. Why, you... Put up your hands, mister. I'll pull the trigger if you move a muscle. <laughs> Come on, Lightning. Yeah. Keep red covered, Whitey. Sure, sure, Lightning. Come in, boy. What? Ma? Ah, oh, I got a prisoner for you, Lightning. Yeah? Pull off his mask, Jack. Sure. Yeah. Red was right. It's Al Slack. Thought he was going to rob me. But I showed him a trick me Denny taught me years ago. What was that, Kate? Uh, how to grab a gun out of a man's hand when he's got the drop on you. <laughs> Good for you, Kate. Now we got to see what we can do for Jack. Uh, Mrs. Golden, the lightning Jim has told me the whole story. Of course, Jack must be punished. But we're going to give him every consideration. Ah, oh, thank you, Colonel. I think Jack has learned a lesson that no punishment could teach. Honor and respect for the trust that is given to a soldier to serve his country. It's a duty that places a country's honor above life itself. We who serve now blaze a long, hard trail for the America of tomorrow. We follow the flag of the stars and stripes and of the red, white, and blue. And so ends another thrilling adventure in the lives of United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy, Whitey Larson. <laughs>